there, Donna and Brian with Photonic Health. Today we wanted to chat with you guys about using light therapy to take your horses out of colic. We think it's a pretty simple thing to do, but... We think it's a simple thing to do, but we've been using light therapy on horses since 2002, and that's actually where our story began. Brian, you want to give a 30 second? 30 second is that we were on vacationist back in 2002, like she said, and we've seen this gentleman of Australia. He said, I can take a horse out of colic in 10 to 15 minutes. And we're like, and I, she went and bought one of these things right away because we were pretty new in horses at that time, probably only maybe five, seven years, something like that. And we just were devastated when we seen a colic. And she came back when I said, oh, being an engineer, I said, you just got took, you just bought a little red flashlight. So we got home and guess what? One of our horses is colicking. So she's writing up, reading off the points, and I'm trying to find them. And we got through. The, got to the last point was GV1 between a anus and a tail, and literally it shot out the back of the horse. And we both said, "Holy, you know what?" And we walked off, blew off, and was fine. Right. And so since then, we have seen. Um, We've used lights on our personal horses as they've colic throughout the years. Um, but we've also been called out in life or death situations from colic. And more importantly is the fact that we've put these tools in our clients' hands and they've been able to take their horses out of colic. So we really wanted to delve into that a little bit deeper yeah. today. And the simple form answer to it is, is that when lights are applied to any part of the body, it increases the serotonin level that's in the body. Serotonin is what gets the gut movement in a horse. That's what gets things to start moving and so forth. Then we just do simple Chinese med uh, points where it's large intestine, small intestine, we open them up. Stomach. And things, and things flow through and they, they the gas or the impaction moves and they're out of pain and they're out of colic. Right, and so we make it sound really simple. So. Um, what we're advocating is, of course, always consult with your veterinarian. If your horse is colicking, always call your veterinarian. While you're waiting for the vet, go ahead, get your lights out and start illuminating your horse or whatever Absolutely. horse is present at the moment in time. Because at the end of the day, what can't happen is the, you can't do any damage with lights, especially when it comes to a colic situation. Yep. Um, there are several different types of colic. So everybody sort of categorizes colic into one bucket. And it's actually, there's several. There's impaction, there's spasmodic. Gas. There's gas colic. Um, there's actually uh, twisted gut, which you got to get professional help on that yeah, one. And like lipomas. Lipomas, you got to consult. Um, but but that being said, um, light therapy certainly can, you know, one of the beautiful things of it is it takes the pain away. Yeah. And the other part I would like to really emphasize is that you can be preventive for colic. So if you know your horses are prone to get colic, say in the springtime from grasses or whatever, you can do this like at once a week or twice a week, whatever you want to do that would help prevent the colic from happening to begin with. Right. Or you know, we have saddle breads and our one saddle bread is a pretty delicate little flower. She's a flower. And, um, <laughs> and we know that like if the temperature, you know, drops more than if there's a 30 degree or 40 degree fluctuation um, within a 12 hour period of time, we know that she her body just does not like that real well. And so when we see it coming, we take preventive measures for that. Mm -hmm. um, there have been cases where that we haven't been able to do that. So we have used our lights to pull her out of colic. Absolutely. And one of the things I would like to talk about on our multi-light is that something we've really found for colic that's really cool is the green. The green will take them from sympathetic mode back into parasympathetic mode, which means when they go into colic, they go into this fight flight internal, really, you just hit this on the, in, you do the points, you hit this on the in tang uh, between, uh, between the eyes of the forehead. I've had numerous horses and numerous people tell me the same thing back. The minute they hit that point, the horse shakes his head, blows out and walks off. Right. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, 
hopefully you never have to encounter a colic with your horse. Um, if you do, call the vet, grab your lights, start illuminating them, and hopefully you can make a call to the vet canceling the appointment. Um, but if, if that does not happen and you have to you know, go into the clinic, we've actually had it um, just recently actually where we had one of our horses had to go into the clinic and he pulled out of it sort of um, and on day three we went back in and illuminated and was able to clear the rest of the colic. Yes. So just stick with it. You know, that's the thing is don't be, don't go, oh, well, you know, he still had to go to the vet or he still had to be tubed. You're not out of it yet until you're out of it or your horse is out of it. So you can use those lights on your horses that are calling. Even after the vet's been there. Even after the vet, vet's been there, um, two or three, you know, times a day, you can do it if you, yeah. if you have to. The other thing I want to talk about briefly is if your horse has to have colic surgery, colic surgery has a very high risk rate, mm -hmm. very high risk rate. Um, not to mention being very expensive. Not to mention being very expensive, but I really want to talk about what to do to support your hor horse after surgery. Do those colic points. The whole, the whole goal is to get that resection. Basically, that's what it is, is a resection um, get that healed up and get that working as mm -hmm. quickly as possible. And so you can support your horrors um, post colic surgery by Absolutely. illuminating the colic points, especially because those think of those meridians and those acupuncture points as energy lines, electrical lines that are going right to that area that has been affected. So if you're in a situation where you have a horse that has gone through colic surgery, please, please, please support him using... As well as this injury area, or this incision area as well. Correct. Um, and if you have a horse that has had colic surgery, maybe three, four, 10, 15 years ago, and has never had exposure to red light or or didn't have that um, technology when that surgery happened, go ahead and still do those points yes. because it can actually minimize that scar tissue and get that healed up. Mm -hmm. So those are some great points on colics. Absolutely. So if you have any uh, success stories on using light therapy on colic, why don't you let us know and we're happy to hear from you and uh, many blessings to you and your horses and we wish you the best of luck.